Section 49 of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. To Cowper by Anne Bronte Sweet are thy strains, celestial bard, and oft in childhood's years I've read them o'er and o'er again with floods of silent tears. The language of my inmost heart I traced in every line, My sins, my sorrows, hopes and fears, Were there, and only mine. All for myself the sigh would swell, The tear of anguish start, I little knew what wilder woe Had filled the poet's heart. I did not know the nights of gloom, The days of misery, the long, long years of dark despair that crushed and tortured thee. But they are gone from earth at length. Thy gentle soul is past, and in the bosom of its God has found its home at last. It must be so, if God is love, and answers fervent prayer. Then surely thou shalt dwell on high, and I may meet thee there. Is he the source of every good? the spring of purity, then in thine hours of deepest woe, thy God was still with thee. How else, when every hope was fled, couldst thou so fondly cling to holy things and help men, and how so sweetly sing of things that God alone could teach, and whence the purity, that hatred of all sinful ways, that gentle charity are these the symptoms of a heart of heavenly grace bereft forever banished from its god to satan's fury left yet should thy darkest fears be true if heaven be so severe that such a soul as thine is lost oh how shall i appear end of section forty nine